Your spine isn't just a stack of bones. It's a really important integral part of our body that helps support us and allows us to move in any direction. Today I want to give a brief overview of the spine itself and how it plays such an important role in keeping us upright and very mobile. So just as a brief overview, the spine itself is made up of 33 bones or what we call vertebrae and each vertebrae has a strong anterior body which just means at the front of the spine and smaller sections that extend out the back to protect the spinal cord. Between each and every vertebrae, there's a strong cartilaginous disc, and that is what helps support and cushion our spine from impact, like when we walk and when we, when we move. Along the back, there are two joints on, on either side that are called facet joints. These are smaller joints, but they really help stabilize the spine, protect the spinal cord, and allow us to be more mobile. Now, within the back of the spine, that's where the spinal cord is. And now each level of the spine between those two vertebrae, there are specific nerve roots that exit. And that's how our body functions, by getting the, the information from our brain through our spinal cord and out through those nerve roots. That's how we choose to make a movement, uh, how our organs function, and overall how our body stays so dynamic. There are three primary regions that I want to talk about the spine today. There's the cervical region or the region of our neck, the thoracic spine or our mid-back, and the lumbar spine or the lower back. Each of these have kind of distinct properties that are really important. So the cervical spine is by far the most mobile section of our spine. That's why our head can move so freely. And that is important for us to be able to be, you know, important for our, our surroundings. This also makes the neck most prone to like postural strain and overusing some of the smaller muscles in the neck. The next section or the thoracic spine, this is where our ribs um, attach into, that's what protects our lung and our heart and is very important. That's what gives a lot of our spine a lot of stability for our shoulders to function properly. Then the lower section of the spine is called your lumbar spine. And that is what uh, adds and stabilizes most of our upper body weight. So it's very important to maintain that stability and it is where we, we want to be nice and strong through our core to keep our body strong. Then below those sections of the spine, we have our sacrum and our, and our coccyx region of the spine and that attaches into our pelvis to also help ground our weight down through our hips and through our legs. The next time you think about your spine, make sure you remember that it is a strong and dynamic part of our bodies that is designed to keep us upright and keep us moving.